and we welcome you back here to the broadcast of the Eastern Conference semifinal. Thomas is the point with Bradley to his side. Horford is out there with Johnson. And it's Crowder in at the three spot. That's the Boston Five. Now here's Johnson to the middle. And there's Horford. That's good on the assist by Johnson. Eight points for Horford. Oh, I love that dish down low. It's tipped from 13. And Markeith Morris again. Morris has got the lead up to one now for the Wizards. Uh, Morris making things look easy right now. What a rhythm. Thomas kicks to Bradley. Back to Thomas. Nice ball movement by Boston. It's Bradley on the wing. The tray. The shot that time, not on target. Great D that time from Beal. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And the Wizards lead by three. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Thomas passes to Johnson. Outside Crowder. Six on the shot clock. No good from 18. Wizards leading by three. Beal dishes to Jennings. Kicks it to Morris. And there's the feed to Beal. Pass to Bogdanovich. Inside. And Morris throws it down. Now this is an athletic power forward. And Morris outquicks the defense to the rim. Outside Crowder. Johnson left side. Outside Thomas. Johnson the screen. Thomas kicks to Crowder. And the whistle blows. And it's going to be an over the back call here. Yeah, he was boxed out and tried to get the rebound the only way he could. Porter's checked in for Bogdanovich. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Here's Morris. Johnson with the block. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Crowder, the pass to Horford. Boston, no good that time either. Boy, clear breakdown on defense. They're, they're fortunate that he didn't make them pay. Porter, no luck. You know, he clearly hasn't been as sharp as usual, but they're still scoring as a team. And good that time. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. Yeah, flawless fast break. Didn't slow down until the ball hit the bottom of the bucket. Jennings dishes to Morris. It's back to Jennings. Kept alive by Washington. Celtics trail by three. Outside Bradley to tie it up. Good, and the assist goes to Thomas. Thomas got his fifth assist in this one. He's been heating it up since the break, getting some excellent looks right now. Outside Beal. Puts it up from 17. The shot, no good. And it's Boston the other way. Bradley kicks to Johnson. Horford against Gortat. Dishes it to Bradley. Horford sets a screen for Crowder. To take the lead. Crowder with another miss. He's been somewhat off this quarter, but the desire to score is evident. Beal gets a wide-open look. Kept alive. Here's Porter. And the layup's good off the glass. And the Wizards lead by two. Well, the motor is on full display right now for Otto Porter. He is getting after it on the glass. Outside Brent. Pass to Johnson. Back to Bradley. Open and close and nails it. Bradley's got five points now in the quarter. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Now here's Jennings. Morris a screen. Works out with the screen for Jennings. A three-pointer, no good. Boston's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. 
And the shot is good from Johnson. Washington's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And stolen by Horford. And a fast break now for the Celtics. Johnson's got the ball. Yeah, how about the sharp steal and then run out? It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. Well, we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Mm. Maybe that'll be a springboard for them. Yeah, a big change of possession in a tight ball game. We'll see if they've seized the momentum. And the Wizards with possession after the basket by Boston. Bradley against Beal. Six on the shot clock. Gortat. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Always good to mix in that pump fake. Gortat got him on that one. Bogdanovich has checked in for the Wizards. He hits the second from the line. Austin leading by three. Now Thomas. Screen by a winner. Thomas goes in. Gorchot with the rebound. That's some outstanding on-court awareness there. Just a terrific change of shot. Beal the pass to Jennings. Back to Beal. The tray. But they'll get another chance. And I just love how he's banging down low. His hard work will let them use some more of the clock here. To the paint. Here's Gortat, and it's Gortat finishing it off. Listen, Beal could have taken that shot, but the court vision's so good that he sees a chance to get his guy a better look. Here's Johnson. That one, no good. Good work defensively by Morris. Outside Jennings. There's the pass to Morris. Morris a screen. There's Jennings with the three. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Outer dishes to Olenek. Johnson inside. Morris is there. Johnson kicks to Olenek. And the dunk by Olenek. Yeah, a nice, strong finish on the inside. But Greg, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. Outside Jennings. He feeds it to Morris. There's a screen by Gorton. Kept alive by Washington. And the shot is good. That's 12 points for Markeith Morris. You know, defense forgets about Morris and pays the price. He loves to score and can do it a number of ways. Brandley kicks to Olenek. Feeds it to Crowder. The Celtics working the ball around now. Johnson against Morris. Just four to shoot. Crowder kicks to Thomas. And Kelly Olenek is going to pick up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Yeah, he looked clumsy on that one. He was not going to get away with that. Wizards trail by four. Outside Jennings. Here's Morris. The rebound by the Celtics. Thomas with the ball. In the corner, Bradley with it. From past the arc. Offensive rebound. Back to Thomas. Fires the three. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Bogdanovich has got three rebounds so far in the game. The putback. Tries yet again. Count it, and the Celtic lead has been cut down to just two points with the bucket from Morris. We're talking about a strong, muscular guy. Morris able to convert comfortably in traffic. Outside Thomas. Bradley against Beal. And Bradley gets it to go. Bradley's got the lead back up to four now for Boston. You know, a huge height advantage there, but because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. I mean, outstanding finish inside against a defender that basically towers over him. Now, here is Morris. Johnson with the block. Olenek with the steal. Time now for an injury report. 
how an update on Otto Porter from David Aldrich. David, what'd you find out? Hey guys, got an update from the Wizards head athletic trainer. He said that the hip is bruised pretty badly, but overall, it should be okay. Given that they're in the playoffs right now, you know he'll do everything he can to get back on the court as soon as possible. Kevin? All right, David, and folks, we will, of course, keep everyone updated as we find out more. And you know what? He could have a long road ahead in terms of getting back on the court. But one thing we all know, he's never been shy of hard work. Yeah, his fortitude is tremendous. He's going to keep rehabilitating at the highest level until he's back out there with his teammates. You know, we're never opposed to a little creativity. Oh, did he have plenty of that? The double pump having some fun. There's a screen by Gorton. Here's Beal. Up again. And the second chance effort by Gortat. And he's now got the double-double. 11 points and 13 rebounds. A critical bucket for them. Gortat answering the bell. Kicks it out to Bradley. He dishes it to Crowder. Crowder with another miss. Bradley against Beal. Shoots from 14. No good off the back of the rim. Celtics leading by four. Crowder goes in. Picks it out to Bradley. That one falls coming off Johnson's feet. Johnson's got his fifth assist in this one. Just dialed in from the three-point line in this fourth quarter. Pouring it in from deep. They have been absolutely unconscious down the stretch. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. Shot by Crowder, no good. Wizards trail by seven. Well, the clock has become their worst enemy. They need fast, efficient possessions, and that may not be enough. The open shot by Beal. Another shot. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. That went on a Linux. Oh, very confident inside. I'll tell you, Gortat's mentality. If you don't foul me, I'm scoring it every single time. The Celtics making a switch here. Orford's checked in. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. Listen, it's only one miss, but it hurts all the same as they try to cut into this lead. And he comes up with the deuce. And really, with every point from this point on, it seems like they're just closer to finishing this one off. You know, give them credit for not easing up as we've come down the stretch. Now here's Jennings. Outside Beal, trying to break that ice cold streak, and the shot is long. And he has slipped into a funk. You can see the confidence is shaking. The confidence is lacking poise. He's forcing things that aren't there. He's just taking shots out of rhythm. Here's Horford. A second chance effort. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. He drops the first one, and that will put them up by nine. So he gets them both. Tremendous focus at the line there. Those points will put this game out of reach for sure. Washington calls timeout. They're behind by 10. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so it's Washington with it. Mahimi passes to Burke. A three ball. Green with the rebound. Here's Smart. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And just a terrific job of taking care of business in front of the home fans. You can feel the love that this crowd has for them. I think the passion of their supporters made a huge difference in tonight's outcome. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. It's time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in.
And coming up next, the post-game show with Ernie Johnson, Shaq, and Kenny the Jet. The 2K Sports post-game show. And Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Without further ado, let's present our Jordan player of the game, Isaiah Thomas. He had an extraordinary second half, really put the team on his back and carried him across the finish line. What would you notice about his performance, Kenny? I love the way how he was calling for the ball tonight. You could tell he was really feeling it. He started to score in a variety of ways, and he would not let the defense understand how to get to him. I know Isaiah Thomas well, and it doesn't surprise me at all to see him have a game like this. Beautiful job of directing the action, but you know, he does that every night. He's a player you can trust with the team's offense, and he's gonna make that big shot, baby, when you need it. And that'll signal the end of our NBA postseason coverage of round two for tonight. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, the rest of the 2K Sports crew, Ernie Johnson, good night, everybody.